recommend you Simply Piano. Thank you for your professional recommendation, but I will pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Two Shards, One Flat. My name is Michelle. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm Sarah. Hi, my name is James. And today what we're going to be doing is reviewing over some Simply Piano ads. So let's see if they survive through our roast. Wedding anniversary is coming up. I've got this app, Simply Piano, and I've got this, this keyboard. I'm going to learn this one is the, the worst. first song we played at our wedding. Full disclosure. Why? What's I've going to happen? I do not know how to play piano. Oh, don't spoil it then. Oh, I think this guy's in a few of them. It's very annoying. For like self-taught, he's got really good hand posture, but I want him to move his bench up, <laughs> his chair. I read somewhere, I don't know if it was on a forum, that this guy's actually a concert pianist and he got paid to do this, so he's like Is that faking right? it. Well, yeah. that explains oh. everything. Oh my goodness. And that's why it's even more cringy, because this guy's yeah. like, I just learned how to play this, wow. She's oh, she's here. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. What? What? <laughs> you know what? If he's faking it, he's doing a pretty good job of faking it. Yeah. Oh, I learned when imagine? I was four, actually. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if uh, in the next room he has a grand piano? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you playing? Why are you playing this garbage? <laughs> Probably. Mozart. Have you heard of my Mozart. You played some notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like like a almost a TikTok ad. If you remove the text. It's six in the morning. Why do you have to practice every single day? Because that's what pianists do. We have so much rep. Look at the posture. Like she's like so hunched forward. You know, guys, maybe if I download Simply Piano, it'll make me practice more. Because apparently, when you get Simply Piano, you practice all day long. You know, like, they totally could have just shot this all in one day, having already known how to play piano, and they just changed their outfits. And all they need to do is play three notes, and they're like, I'm a Mozart! <laughs> I, I didn't even recognize I Have the Tiger there. Oh, no, no, don't that was Eye of the Tiger? Yeah. Sing it, Dad. Sing it. It's always for Elise. Hold on. Yeah, Dan, your face was like... <gasps> <laughs> Did you see how he played the left hand? The E, E, and G sharp? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, what? Yeah, I also saw that. You can go back and look at my reaction to it. Flashback. End of flashback. Yeah. Watch I how he plays his left hand. Oh, he changes it. He's playing a uh, E B G sharp. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be E. Of course, Dan would know all the specific notes. I felt like there was a wrong note in there. Like the thumb in the right hand. Can we go back one more time? He does play a wrong note in the, the melody too. Oh. But yeah, for the fingering, I feel like that's the hardest part for people to get when they're learning on their own. And they usually, if they learn something on their own and come to me, I always change all the fingerings because they're like random. Yeah. So I don't know how you would do that with an app. Well, you can see he's like really rigid when he plays, like chunky. And like there's no flow at all. Like there's no, you could you see there's no real wrist movement. I was gonna say like there's I don't think there's any way that the way he played the beginning he has that da 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 that only really happens if someone ends up practicing it with a metronome and really anchors in on the beat. But simply piano has like the scrolling effect. There's no way that you can get that type of beat unless you practice it with the metronome, which then means he either either the app has that built in for them or he didn't really actually learn it from the app. Eric. 
recommend you simply piano. Thank you for your professional recommendation, but I will pass. Yeah. Music into my life. Now I can play piano for my school, for my grandma, for everybody. Another great reason to take piano lessons. Oh my god, thumb under. Whoa. She did some hand crossing in for Elise. Yeah, in the right hand. It was so random. My first songs, I was very, very super duper happy. It makes me wonder when they cast people for this, do they hire someone to take this footage and make it look as casual and normal and shot on a phone as possible? Or like, do they actually just ask people to make videos, submit them, and then they get paid? This looks like amateur video, to be honest. Yeah. And this is why you should download Simply Piano. Yo, she's totally reading. Did you see her yeah, eyes? She she's reading. Yeah. Oh. Playing the piano was impossible. But after I got the app, it was easy. Oh. <laughs> piano was easy. Yeah, well, teachers make it easy for you too. All right, what did you guys think? You know what bugs me the most about this? Is that every single performance, everyone's always playing every single note the same. It's like, da, da, da. It's never like any dynamic range or different tone or anything. It's just like, note, 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 note. That's a good point. I wonder if the app never addresses that then. I don't think it can because the app can't listen to you. The best an app can do is maybe act as a tuner. So if you play a wrong note, it recognizes that. But in terms of listening for nuance and phrasing, that's impossible. Yeah. All right, question for all of you. How much money would they have to offer you for you to pretend? Oh, any money. <laughs> any I'll money? do it for anything. Thousand bucks. Oh. Any? So they gave you like a, a penny? No, no, no. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. Thousand. Contact me. <laughs> a thousand and no royalties? Or just a thousand? I'd actually be fine with just a thousand. Guys, James is cheap. Go hire him. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't lie about it. I would just like put the, put it in front of me and play off of it. Wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't be like, I learned piano with this thing. <laughs> yeah. But what if yeah, they what if you had to be like, I don't know how to play. And then yeah, no, like, the I next morning you're like, oh my god, I'm playing Chopin and yeah. wow. <laughs> no, I I wouldn't lie. I definitely wouldn't lie about it though. Michelle, what about you? Are you cheaper or more expensive? Um I'm in a phase in my life where all I see are dollar signs, so I'm like, how much would I? I think I'll put it this way. I'd rather us try out the Simply Piano ads and then get YouTube money royalties off of that than be paid by Simply Piano. Yeah. Coming up next video, guys! <laughs> I'd say I'd ask for at least, like, maybe five grand. <laughs> Because one grand is a bit cheap because it might ruin your image. If you have 10 grand, you can at least do something else with it. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Dan? I agree with you, Michelle. I'm at that point in my life where the number, you know, the, the numbers kind of speak. Money um, speaks. Yeah, money speaks. <laughs> and, and just thinking, oh, if they offered me $5,000, how, like, what equipment can I buy? For, for, you know. <laughs> You're like, how many mics? <laughs> Fancy mics, please. How many air like, times is that? my down payment? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, exactly. I want a boat. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What if they're like, if you do a Simply Piano ad, you don't even necessarily have to advocate for it. You would just have to, like, be one of them where they just play in, in those, like, five screen duet stuff. I would do that. Like, that's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would Easily. probably do that. Easily. But they're. Yeah. they're <laughs> Their payment for you would be a new upright of your oh. choice. Of my choice, ooh. Of, of your choice, but let's say budget limit is like 7,000, 7,000, 10,000? Yeah. Would you be like, heck yeah! I might. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But they don't cover moving and they don't cover tuning. <laughs> That's what I mean. When they don't cover moving, I'm like, oh. uh, not this year. <laughs> So we've been roasting this. Do we have anything good to say? Aside from the uh, marketing. <laughs> um, I appreciate that at least they have added some classical music in there. So it's not For just... For at least? Yeah. 
Yeah, it was one Beethoven piece that they've added into their collection of thousands of songs. I feel like Simply Piano is a good like gateway, and especially for kids who aren't usually the type of child to want to sit down at a piano, it is a good gateway. At least I think in our areas, we all have very like studious children who are doing the RCM route and all that stuff and getting their badges. Like Simply Piano is not going to get you that for sure. I think the one thing that they might be good for, and even then I'm thinking it's it's overpriced anyways, is maybe the rhythmic training that, that people can get from using the app like regularly. But other than that, I see very little benefit to actual music learning. Would you recommend this for yourself or for your students? For myself? <laughs> Jesus face is like... <laughs> 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 I mean, maybe we'll try the free trial and we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us review over Simply Piano ads. If you have any other ads that you would like us to review, let us know down in the comments below. If you want us to also try out the app and see what our opinions are, we would love to do that. Give us a thumbs up to let us know that that's what you want us to do. And we'll see you again next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notifications. Bye! Bye. Hey, Dan. Oh, it's Dan. me. Dan, <laughs> six months. I didn't know you were that good. <laughs>